Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. I'm back again with another video on the new 7th generation iPad mini that Apple just announced. And if you saw my previous video, then you probably know I already pre-ordered it and I'm super excited to get my hands on one next Wednesday, October 23rd when they finally drop. And in that video, I quickly went over some of the updates that they're bringing to the new iPad mini. It's getting Apple intelligence thanks to the new A17 Pro chip. It comes in two new colors, blue and purple, and it's compatible with the Apple Pencil Pro alongside getting a storage bump to 128 gigabytes for the base model. However, after doing some further digging, I realized there are other small differences that are with the iPad mini 7. So the first thing that Apple is doing with the new iPad mini 7 is that it's giving it a faster USB-C port. So Apple is saying that the new iPad mini 7 will get you data transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, which is double the five gigabits limit on the iPad mini 6. And now this might not be a big difference for a lot of people, but for content creators or a lot of people who like to store photos and videos from your iPhone or other devices onto the iPads, then with the USB-C port, it's gonna be a faster transfer process than ever before. Like I said, the iPad mini 6 was five gigabits per second. This is double that with 10 gigabits per second, which is the same exact speed that we saw with the new iPad Airs. The second thing, and this was kind of a given, was that the new iPad mini 7, if you go for the cellular version, it's going to be eSIM only. And they're basically following the footsteps of the iPhones, the iPad Pro, the iPad Air, the third thing is faster Wi-Fi. So the new iPad mini 7 is going to support the faster Wi-Fi 6E. Wi-Fi 6E extends the capabilities of the regular Wi-Fi 6 specification to the 6 gigahertz band. So what this basically means is that you get faster wireless speeds and reduced signal interference. Next up, improved HDR photos. So the new iPad mini supports the new smart HDR4 and the previous one supported HDR3. So Apple is saying that the Smart HDR makes photos look even more detailed and vivid. This is, I think, going to be great. This was first introduced with the iPhone 13 Pro, and I'm very excited and happy to see it being rolled out to the iPad mini as well. And last but certainly not the least, and this is a very tiny thing that was actually noted by Parker Ortolani on Twitter. Uh, he said that the iPad mini 7 has an iPad mini inscription on the back of the device. Now, if you look at the previous generation iPad mini, it just simply says iPad. So it's interesting that they are writing mini. But once again, just a small detail that I think was overlooked. But overall, these are the major updates that are coming to the new 7th generation iPad mini. I'm excited because I think I was looking for it to be the ultimate device that takes advantage of new AI features with Apple intelligence. And with the new A17 Pro chip, you're getting exactly that. However, I'm still a little underwhelmed because I feel like they could have done more, at least with the display. It's the same 500 nits of brightness. It's the same pixels per inch. It's the same resolution overall. So I kind of wish that there was a bump in specs when it came to the display play but unfortunately we're not getting that also i wish that there were more exciting colors i mean like the mini is kind of like an entry level ipad in a way um, and I was really hoping that you would get the same vibrant colors that we saw with the iPhone 16 lineup. But once again, we're not getting that either. But overall, I still think that this is a great upgrade for those who are specifically wanting the new Apple intelligence features. Because if you don't care about Apple intelligence and if you have the iPad mini 6, there is no real reason to upgrade to the new iPad mini 7. But if you are in the market, then I think that these updates are great. So if you have an iPad mini 5 or you know, older, I think this will be a great update, especially with the new bump in storage for the entry level 499 one. I think that's great because I have the iPad mini 6 and it's 64 gigabytes and I really wish it had more storage. But at the end of the day, I want to know your thoughts and your questions regarding the new iPad mini 7. So leave them down in the comment section below. I will be getting my hands on one next week and I will do a full unboxing and a review later on as well. So stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.